Yo, what's up guys, it's Jupiter Jared. In this video, I'll be showing you exactly how you can get all the endgame armor in Terraria from the start of the game to getting the armor. And this is a very straightforward guide. It's on the longer side, but I, I literally show you everything you do from the start to the finish. I literally just loaded this game, and in this I already have a totem. Not a totem, a, uh, a voodoo doll. And I should be throwing that in right now. In your world, you're going to need to find a voodoo demon in hell. And it'll drop it, and then you just throw it in lava. While the flesh spawns, I'm playing on normal mode just to make this video. It's very easy either way, as long as you have a mount, actually. So if it's your first playthrough, it might be a little challenging. But very straightforward boss. Next is the destroyer of worlds. You'll be seeing that here soon and we're doing this because we need it to be able to use the uh, mechanical spawners which you can see in my hotbar and basically you do this by going in your crimson or corruption and just mining through and breaking those little balls for the corruption it's those purple ones and for crimson it'll be hearts but I'm pretty sure that one spawns you brain of Cthulhu I don't know if that works I always pick corruption and you see it says Eater of Worlds Summoned. And I just go ahead and kill him. Not hard of a fight at all. Next we have the Twins. The Twins are one of the mechanical bosses. Really easy. Really straightforward. You need to kill the mechanical bosses to get Plantera, I believe. And... I mean, keep moving. Don't let him hit you. Uh, it's, again, really easy. Really straightforward. Next we have Skeletron Prime, I think. No, the Destroyer. This is a joke of a boss fight. Just lots of health. Very easy. Now we have Skeletron Prime. This is a little bit harder. Um, again, keep moving. That's pretty much the same for every boss in the game. And just kind of place yourself where you, you're not going to get smacked by the arms. I normally try and go for the arms first just to kind of get the main annoyance out of the way since they drag behind him so much. And if you can, get in the air, build an arena, obviously out of platforms. I'm doing this on my good character because I don't want to make a new one just for sake of a guide. And here we go, you should be dying just about now. Very easy boss fight. This is Plantera. Plantera is probably the most annoying boss to get to and fight in general just because it's so close quarters. Um, basically, you have to bore through your entire jungle until you find a Plantera spawner. And, I mean, you'll know it when you see it. It's a big pink bulb. You see it on the right, just about now, and I think at this point I've been digging around for probably around 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, if you're really worried, you can make a platform, like arena set up in there by just mining around that. Don't break it. When you break it, it uh, Plantera spawns. You can use a drill mount. I just used the pickaxe for sake of a guide, and you can see Plantera will eventually show up in the bottom right area. And then I just start swinging. The first phase is a joke, and then the second phase is when things get kind of hard. Uh, you can see I'm taking a bunch of damage, but overall, pretty easy boss fight. Not too much. Next up is Golem, or Golem, however you like to say. This is a super easy boss. The only problem is in the second phase, it can shoot through walls, but I mean, even then, that's nothing. So in the spawner room, this is what you're looking for. You're going to have to dig through the jungle and find this temple. Um, power cell is what you want. You need one of those to spawn the boss. You use it in that thing that's on my left to uh, uh, spawn the boss. So he's in. He's up top. Again, first phase is really easy. Just watch out for those fists and don't, get, don't hit any traps. I didn't clear this out, so I think I might hit a few traps every now and then. But uh, make sure you clear out all the traps because those do a bunch of damage. And this is the phase where you can shoot through walls when his head is detached. Um, 
it gets kind of chaotic. I'm taking a lot of damage here. But if you can keep everything balanced, easy fight. This is... I think this is a Stardust Tower. After the Cultist, I don't have any footage of me killing the Cultist. But after you kill Gollum, go to your temple where you fought Skeletron. And there should be four Cultists. Kill them. Then they'll spawn the Lunar Cultist. Kill him. He is a hard fight. Um... I don't know if I can give much help for that again. Just stay moving. If you have chlorified bullets, use them. Very good. But uh, after you do that, you're going to get four towers. I have footage of Stardust and Solar. I think it's Solar because to me, those were the hardest ones. You're seeing Stardust now. Um, with all of these, I put a crystal down and I basically sat on it as a just in case. And you have to kill all the smaller enemies that the tower puts out and then the shield will drop and then you're able to just hit the actual big meatball tower and it'll die and drop you the fragments you need in order to build the armor and if you just go through once like one tower isn't going to give you enough to build a full set so you're going to have to kill them more than once or you can duplicate them that's what I did you can see in this footage I have tons of the crystals and of course with each armor set and uh, I guess element there's a pick um, there's a pair of wings for all there's the elemental grapple obviously the moon lord spawner and uh, there's weapons so you can see the solar eruption is for the solar set which I'm also using and that pickaxe belongs to it too that stardust dragon goes to the stardust and the solar flare is for your kind of melee tank build. Stardust is for, I believe, summons. Your nebula is for mana and mage builds. And the... Oh man, what's the last? The last one is for ranged attacks, so like bows and guns. The solar tower is a whole lot harder than the Stardust Tower. I think the Solar Tower is probably the hardest one just because it launches like bone dragons and you can only hit them from the back but we'll get there soon. With the Stardust Tower I think the strategy for this one is watch out for those like flying arrowheads that you can see so again keep moving. I normally move in circles I never like to move in straight lines and basically I'm using a Meow Mirror here just because it's kind of like a range attack, but it's not, and it does really good damage, and I'd rather use that than my Daybreak because of the range. And, I mean, I'm just one-tapping the Stardust cells, and those dragons move slow enough to where you don't really have to worry about them. It's those things that shoot those arrowheads that will do a bunch of damage. Because if they hit you, I think they do like 150-ish. I don't know. But, uh, just stay around wait for that shield to drop and you're kinda set but don't like dig a hole in a wall and like expect to be able to be safe from there because I think almost everything can go through and you see that like shockwave that's the shield going down so then I just position above it and just shoot down with my meow mirror and it's easy Alright, now we are going towards the solar tower, and like I said, this is absolutely, without a doubt, the hardest tower of the four because of the big bone dragons. And a lot of the enemies spawn on the floor, so for this one, I think towards the end, I put my crystal on the floor once I actually remembered and noticed that. So that made it a lot easier. Well, not easier, but it made it go faster for sure. And I kind of stayed near the bottom more than I normally do for the other towers. And for those bone dragons, I honestly wish I could give you a good strat for, like, 
base like lower level play but I'm using the SDSM I don't even know what it's called but <laughs> the dolphin at machine gun with chlorophyte bullets and that basically instantly takes out the uh, the dragon assuming you can get it out of your way before yeah like right here it hit me but I used the chlorophyte bullets and hit the back of it and uh, I mean they're pretty much constant it's really annoying but eventually you can see that there's a lot of things on the ground that are attacking and this is about where I notice them and those things that jump up are very very annoying and do good damage when there's a lot of them so watch out for them and those dragons really catch you by surprise and they they smack you a lot because they don't hit you once and keep going they keep hitting you so it's really important you get those out as fast as you can and again move in circles and you should be able to get it uh, I think mine took me about five tries on normal uh, I'm sure someone can tell me I suck in the comments but that's what I got so just kind of, I don't know, you wait for the dragons to come out, go in circles, on your mount, you're slower than with the solar flare wings if you have those, but basically, get the dragons out as soon as you see them, put a, uh, a summon on the floor to kill those enemies, and if you just play it safe, eventually the shield will drop, and you'll be able to kill it. So now that the solar tower's shield is down, I just try and make sure I'm safe enough to be able to just try and take it down as fast as I can. Again, I'm using my Meow Mirror, and I'm just going above it. And they might actually bounce up and then come back down and then hit them again. But I'm getting attacked by a lot of those dragon worms. But uh, again, the, uh, the tower part, killing the tower is always pretty easy. It's the things that are always the hardest. So please let me know if this was helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. Drop any questions you have in the comments. I'll see you guys later.